Hey guys, welcome to another Friday Finds. And today I'm going to be sharing, well, nothing. The reason for that is that I've spent most of the week with no electricity and no internet connection. But the electricity is working and uh, internet's back on. And so while I never found too much online outside of maybe a few things that I've managed to get over my 3G and 4G because that's all I can get in this area. I did want to talk about information overload, which is something that I think we can all find ourselves doing, which is we get onto YouTube and we start just watching things and the next thing and the next thing and we just mindlessly, you know, watching all the stuff and it's all just coming at us, but Maybe it's sinking in, but it's not something that we're practically using. I wanted to give you a little bit of guidance on what I recommend so that you don't just mindlessly surf, because it's almost becoming like how we used to browse TV. You know, just flipping through channels, trying to find something to watch, never really watching anything, getting all frustrated, and you know, then suddenly you want to go out and everything else. And you think of the luxury that we've had of having a hundred channels on your TV, yet we could find nothing to watch. I mean, that's just ludicrous. Well, the internet's limitless and you could go down that path forever. And truthfully, with everything coming at us, I'm telling you, we are becoming mentally exhausted with the amount of consuming we're doing. So I, I'm going to start a new practice whereby I plan what I'm going to surf every day. And that might seem so old school, maybe even a little analog, I don't know, but I just don't see the point anymore in wasting my day endlessly searching for stuff. I used to do it, you know, as a designer, searching for inspiration. And I'd endlessly trawl through websites looking for the latest, greatest website that I could learn something from or get, you know, inspiration from and apply to my work. Guys, it leads you nowhere and it's a complete waste of time and your time's more valuable. Do what you gotta do and get out there and enjoy your life. What I, I suggest is literally either the night before the morning when you do your journaling, I would recommend that you write a list of priorities of what you need to be searching for. So hey, it might be that you need to figure out how to visualize and so you need an inspirational talk on visualization. That's okay, put it down. You might want to watch your favorite YouTubers. That's okay, write it down. You might be looking for a new 2019 trend report. That's okay. Go to my my videos. I've got a few of those. No, just kidding. Just write that down. By writing things down, you've got an action plan of what you want to do. It's not mindless. I have a bunch of people who are exactly who I enjoy watching and yet somehow I watch one of their videos and then suddenly 20 videos later, I've watched a whole bunch of other stuff that's related to them. And truthfully, I could have been using my time more constructively. So I suggest to you, don't just mindlessly surf. If you are gonna do it, perhaps allocate a portion of time to say half an hour, I'm just going to surf the web and whatever I find, I find. And if you do have articles that you see, you know, maybe save them in LinkedIn and then have a day where you allocate time to say, I'm gonna read those articles and bookmark, you know, blog posts so that you don't end up wasting, you know, extra time. Um, go and have a schedule for how you surf so that you can just get on and do other things because surfing the web and, and going on YouTube endlessly, I really don't believe it's as beneficial as we probably make it out to be. But anyway, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and stay cool.